glad you joined me today. We have a really cool lesson. But first, I have a very important question. How can you be a good friend? Hmm, can you tell me some of your ideas? Oh, those are such good ideas. I bet you are really good friends. Wow. So boys and girls, today we are going to be making friendship soup. And in that soup, we are going to put together all the ingredients that we need in order to be good friends. So let's begin. Our first ingredient to be a good friend is kindness. Wow, it is so colorful, isn't it? I know I love to be kind by smiling at somebody or I love showing kindness by writing my friends a letter telling them how much they mean to me. So let's add two scoops of kindness to our soup. Here we go. Oh, that is looking awesome. Okay. Boys and girls, our next ingredient to being a good friend is sharing. <gasps> Oh, it can be really hard to share, can't it? Yeah, sometimes it's really hard to share, but guess what? God wants you to share so that your heart is showing a kind and loving heart. Isn't that pretty cool? So boys and girls, let's go ahead and add a couple handfuls of sharing to our friendship soup. And while I'm adding these handfuls, can you tell me one way that you are going to share something today? Are you kidding me? That is so nice. Wow, you are super sweet. Okay, the next ingredient in our friendship soup is caring. In order to be a good friend, we need to care for other people. And so boys and girls, guess what? You know how we can care for other people? If we see them hurting, if we see them lonely, if we see them sad, we can go up and we can encourage them or love them or hug them, right? Or draw them a really special picture. So let's add a dose of caring to our soup. Here we go. All right, our soup is looking so great. All right, boys and girls, guess what? This ingredient's really fun. So in order to be a good friend, you have to know how to play and be silly with your friends, right? So here's our silliness. We're gonna add it to our soup. Hey, what is your favorite silly thing to do with your friends? Oh my goodness, that is so funny. I bet you are super silly, huh? Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, our very last ingredient to being a good friend is showing a loving heart. So I have all these hearts here because when we show a loving heart, we can show other people God's love for them. So I'm gonna add some loving hearts in our soup. Oh, lots of loving hearts. I'm thinking of a story in the Bible where there are these friends and one of their friends is sick. So all of the other friends bring their sick friend to where Jesus is teaching. They climb up to the roof and they lower their friend down on a mat right in front of Jesus. And guess what? Jesus heals that friend <gasps> without all the other friends showing a loving heart to their one sick friend. Their sick friend might not have ever known Jesus or experienced his healing power. So that's what happens when we show loving hearts. Now let's mix all these ingredients up. So boys and girls, in order to be a good friend, we need kindness, we need sharing, caring, silliness, and loving hearts. And if you put all those together, you will be such a great friend. Have a great day, boys and girls. Bye.